Normally, I don't review movies I've already seen. I like to watch them for the first time and then review them for you nice people. But we'll make an exception today. Melissa McCarthy's been in the news. She has the number one movie in America. And she announced that she's going to be in the Gilmore Girls reunion. So let's review The Nines. The movie begins with Ryan Reynolds having a little bit of a mental breakdown. I do not have a belly button where I should on my belly and I'm concerned because I don't know if that's um can a person uh, live without a belly button? Because if you think about it, you're born with one, and uh, if you don't have one, you're you're unborn, and it's really hazy uh, whether you're alive or not. As you might expect, using that much lighter fluid, he burns his house down. But because he's a famous TV star, his publicist gets him off with house arrest. And his publicist is played by Melissa McCarthy. Don't do heroin. Yeah, crack is classy. Hmm. And I'm not buying you porn. There's spray per view on cable. Great. Because I really wasn't concerned about my career, family, or future. I just wanted to jerk off. He's running a house from a writer while the writer's off filming his TV show and runs into his neighbor. Things immediately get kind of weird. Okay, maybe I was just looking for a way to meet my infamous neighbor. You see, I'm under house arrest too. What did you do? I had sex with my husband. <laughs> That's awful. Nine months later, I had Jaden. That's her over there. She's a cutie. Is that all there is to a fire? Is that all there is? Is that all there is? Sure, you could be concerned that someone just randomly starts singing for no reason and it goes without mention, but he's more concerned that the number nine keeps showing up in his life. What are the nines? What? Look for the nines. Uh, it's not mine. It's your handwriting. With his neighbor's encouragement, he eventually confronts Melissa McCarthy and asks her what's going on. Theories? This is all a dream. No. I'm in a coma. No. I'm dead. This is hell or, or purgatorium or something. Okay. Purgatorium is where Romans vomited, but no. This is as real as anything can be. He's unhappy with her answers, so he sets off the house arrest alarm, and poof, everybody's now playing different characters. He is now the writer that he was renting the house from. Melissa McCarthy is playing Melissa McCarthy, who's starring in that writer's new TV show, and Hope Davis is now playing an executive at a TV studio. The two lives start to mesh and overlap each other, though. Forget about the people who score you in the true twos and threes, because they're, they're never gonna like your show. Instead, look for the nines. The nines. They're the ones who think your show is almost, you know, the best thing they've ever seen. They get your vision. They just want it to be even better. Round two is starting without you. No, no, that's anyone. Sometimes then they like a, a woman singing. <laughs> What? Yeah. Like a ghost? I, like a I guess. Ghost? I don't know. I mean, I, then I saw something. I actually, I, I ran into someone. Yeah. 
saw. It's, Is it the singing ghost? Mm -hmm. It was a man. Oh. I think it was me. Like in the first story, Hope Davis tries to get him away from Melissa McCarthy. Focusing on Melissa? She's our biggest concern. She's also the biggest star on the show. No, no, no. You are the biggest star. Roger has a huge deal with you, and he went along with casting Melissa when it was against his instinct. But, hooray for Roger. I don't understand what, what you want me to do. Meet with someone. Severing ties with Melissa McCarthy once again resets our characters, and this is where we get into spoilers. So, if you don't want the movie spoiled for you, I'll put a timestamp right about there telling you where to skip to. In the third version of the story, he plays a video game designer whose wife, played by Melissa McCarthy, and him are out on vacation when their car breaks down. So he goes looking for help and runs into Hope Davis. And he explains to her that, yeah, he created a video game, but he doesn't like playing it in God mode. Having no rules makes it no fun, so he prefers to play as little regular characters like everybody else. And it turns out that's what Earth is to Ryan Reynolds. Turns out he's not a writer or an actor or a video game designer. He is a 9. On a scale from 1 to 10, God is a 10 and humans are a 7. A 9 gives him the ability that he created Earth and he started off playing in God mode, moving around continents and causing wars and making big events happen, but not having any limitations was no fun, so we started playing little characters, and that's where our famous leaders and martyrs and stuff came from. Him playing a character, but giving himself enough power that he can still have influence, but not so much power that's not fun anymore. Which is why he ended up playing an actor and a famous video game designer and a famous writer. So you might be wondering, why is Hope Davis fucking this up for him? Why won't she just let him hang out with Melissa McCarthy and have fun? Well, turns out he's a little bit of an addict. Uh, you know your friend or boyfriend or whoever that plays video games for two days straight when it comes out and won't even answer your phone calls? Well, Ryan Reynolds has been playing Earth for 5,000 years. He is so entrenched in the game that he doesn't even know he's playing the game anymore. Yeah, he uh, has a problem. If you're wondering why Melissa McCarthy has a career, now you know. God, huge Gilmore Girls fan. If you skip the spoilers, welcome back. And overall, uh, I like this movie. I think it's really interesting the way they built it up, give you little clues that something's going on. Big clues like Hope Davis just breaking into song for no reason. You also have Ellie Fanning, Octavia Spencer, and David Denman all making small little parts appearing in the background of each story. Even if you didn't skip the spoilers and know the ending, I still recommend watching it. It has some great acting in it, great characters. Uh, it's really well put together and thought out and well done. It's a movie I've talked about in Hangouts and I've talked about people about in real life. I actually really enjoy this movie and think it's a really cool idea. So, check it out. Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time.